Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Why Do I Even Bother To Set Up My Camera When I Know I'm Gonna Knock It Ten Minutes Later. I'm just kidding, it's another MLP Season 8 reaction. Today it's Episode 4 and it seems like this one was made for me in particular. Fake it till you make it. It's hilarious because imposter syndrome. It's great, isn't it? I've got imposter syndrome and I haven't even breached 100 viewers yet. 100 subscribers. <laughs> Oh, what's the future going to hold for me if I actually do make it big? Oh, madness, 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 and a gradual decline into cider abuse. And I mean American soft cider, not, you know, the alcoholic stuff we have over here. Anyway, I've, um, I've lost my mind enough for this episode. Let's watch the actual episode of MLP together, shall we? Oh, Fluttershy first, good start. Wait, hang on, everyone's eating and you've forgotten Angel. Don't worry, Angel, I won't forget you. Won't forget? You had forgotten. He had no food. Fluttershy! Okay, good start. Why? Why would you? Why? Let me guess, drama queen being drama queen? The Cantalot Royal Fashion Show is practically upon us, and the cornerstone okay, piece of my collection right. just isn't working. Okay, again, have you seen fashion shows lately? It doesn't matter if it's not working. As long as it's ridiculous and impractical, it'll do. This is Manhattan's busiest shopping season, and I can't just close the shop, so I was hoping... So, hire a new sales pony for a few weeks. I'm surprised you picked me. Well, I may have asked a few others... Sorry, but wow. we've got a Wonderbolt show coming up. Sorry, but it's pie season and the pie orders are piling up. Sorry, I've got a curriculum to make up. Nope. Oh, okay, nope. school reference. So the school still exists then. What? My calendar's packed, but I hear Fluttershy's free. And you haven't asked Boulder. Wow, well, there's friendship for you. Fluttershy just about beat out Boulder. I don't even know where to go with that. That's offensive? Painfully offensive? So, again, Twilight is sorting out a curriculum, so she's not doing friendship stuff anymore. It's just friendship school now. You know, the friendship problems, they can sort themselves out. They've, they're all done. They're fine. And, of course, each section is divided by season, colour and price. It's a classic SCP system. Not the SCP system that um, most of us who live on the internet are thinking of. The real focus at Rarity for you is on the customer. Care to give it a try? Um... Okay. Okay, so... Hello. Now I'm kind of starting to understand why she would have asked Fluttershy last, if it's a customer-centric situation. I need something classic but modern, something with drama but also understated. Um, aren't all those things opposites? So basically you've got a hipster who wants something that doesn't exist. How can I- I'm sorry, are you asking me how to do your job? I think someone needs to go to Twilight's friendship school. If I may, I'm thinking noir-esque minimalist, but with a twist. So basically How's a situation of the customer him? doesn't know what they want, <laughs> so here, let's just sell them anything. <laughs> oh! Oh, that laugh! your shyness a thousand times over. You can't let a few fashion ponies undo all that progress. Ooh, subtle dig at themselves there. I will tell you now though that you can be socially awkward, you can have social anxiety, as I do and Fluttershy does, and you can overcome that several times over. You will never completely get rid of it. It's always a factor and it doesn't matter how long you've been fine for, you can have bad days. You can have bad days that can lead to bad weeks, that can lead to full relapses of complete social anxiety. Now I should get back to watching this, because I'm missing a lot here, because, you know, Fluttershy hugging raccoons. And I'm sure they'll help me let my inner strength shine through. That felt so forced. Why not try a new outfit? Why not try a new outfit? Okay, again, ponies don't normally wear clothes, so this is actually more a case of 
why not try an outfit? All right, I'm sure you and your furry friends will do just fine. Ta ta! Ha! <laughs> she said furry. <sighs> okay, so judging by that cutie mark, he's someone who knows fashion, or at least cloth. Welcome to Rarity for You. What can I help you with? Will you leave me alone? I'm browsing, all right? Browsing. At the end of it, I might buy something. I might not. But you will not influence me one iota. Acceptable business attire. Oh. I don't know whether I like that or not. So sorry for the wait. The shop has some staffing issues today. Whoa! Subtle mean, not nice. Our merchandise defies typical attempts to quantify its quality, but rest assured it will make you the envy of all who see it. <laughs> Flutterbrit. Standard sales pony gabble then, you know. You can you can talk for ages without actually saying a thing. Thing. I'm actually kind of empathising with Fluttershy quite heavily here because I once had a job at a bike shop and I don't know the first thing about bikes. Well, no, I know I know how to ride one. I know how to ride a bike. That's about it. So when it came to selling them and the bits for them, people were coming in asking me all these sorts of things, and all I had to all I could really do is just sort of gabble and gabble until they pointed out the bit that they wanted. I just kind of had to coerce them into showing me the bit that they wanted. So I, I can empathise that if you don't know what you're talking about, you do, as, as a salesperson, you do kind of have to have a silver tongue. I'm quite certain the pony you left in charge can handle it. Oh, she's simply divine. Not going to deny that. Not going to disagree. It's a unique play on the old standard. We call it a rarity cut with a triple cross stitch hem and a guacamole shavka pattern fabric. You're just making up words now. Of course. It's so unique. So in vogue. It must be mine. Okay, we're we're kind of experiencing a cross between overly assertive shy and make stuff up as you go along shy. I feel like I should push the snootiness further. No, don't push the snootiness further. That would be a bad idea. She's got raccoon waiters now. I'm afraid bold and shiny won't work with your whole model. Perhaps pointy. Pointy? What? Yes, I must have pointy. Great, I need jewelry that can stab me in the face. I need like a red carpet glitz and glamour gown that's also casual, but like still artsy and a total head turner. Okay, I don't know who she is, but I both love her and hate her at the same time in equal measure. Casual chic prêt à porter is very branché this season. Uh, like I don't understand any of that. Neither does anyone else. Um, one moment, please. <laughs> There we go. All of a sudden, the adopted personality has come up with something it can't deal with and collapses. Hang okay, on. I've got like this high key savage look for you. No, please no. Please no. Please no. Why? Why? Why are they doing this? Why would they do this to Fluttershy? No, please no. Bimbo hipster Fluttershy. Like please, God, no. No, God, please no. No! This store Hang is a on. desperate wasteland of nothingness. Do you have anything in black? Oh, Can you, please. like, chill for one sec? BRB. Oh, come on. Come it's on. not like the futility of shopping can be made. And there it is! Fluttergoth. <laughs> if tea's like lukewarm, it's barely drinkable. This tea must oh, be really? See that it doesn't happen again. <laughs> right, okay, so Fluttershy is basically going to end up with multiple personality disorder. She's already forgetting who she is because she's been mean to the raccoons. This vest is a reflection of your soul. This hemline is nothing short of an inspiration of crafts ponyship. But the thing is, with Fake It Till You Make It, I don't know if we're actually leading up to a story, to, to, to a lesson of be yourself. Because sometimes being yourself, that nah, doesn't work. And faking it until you become... <gasps> I don't know what's worse, that you've spilled the tea or that it's still cold. Either get it right or go back to the forest. 
Oh, she has totally lost herself to that role too much. No, no, oh. Would that happen? The problem is now, if it was early Fluttershy, I would say that could never happen. That early Fluttershy could never drop so much into anything that would make her be mean to animals. But nowadays, with all the lessons she's learned, with the progress she's made, I kind of could believe that she could slip so easily into such a snobby character so deeply, I should say, not easily, into a snobby character, that she could find herself being mean to animals and other ponies and actually losing herself. It's like a scream in the void, empty and ultimately meaningless. I do I like Fluffy. seriously help you right now? But, like, I don't wanna, you know? <sighs> no. Are you sure that's even Fluttershy? Maybe it's just three really, really fast ponies that really, really look like her. Says Pinkie Pie. Says Pinky. So they are demonstrating the uh, the flip between characters, the, the 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 break in her psyche between the characters that they that they're not showing any transition between them. She is just all three of them at the same time and individually. This shop is like a no rodent zone now. <laughs> No. Please, step this way so that we may discuss your concerns. I knew you'd come to your senses. No, she's being mean to her friends as well now? Oh. Yeah, this isn't fake it till you make it. This is fake it until your psyche shatters and you become everything you're not. Oh, this tenth piece of my collection and it's still not right. Oh, darling, I'm afraid we've literally run out of time. Uh, that's... The centerpiece, yeah, no, that, if that's the centerpiece of your collection, that is not right. That would be more fitting in a human fashion show. Again, you've you've seen my rants, my diatribes on fashion before. She called Smokey, Smokey Jr. and Soft Pack? Rodent! <laughs> Rodent! And that is the real clincher. Oh, wow. <laughs> there we go, just that instant transition. But the problem is, if you fake it just to fit in to the point that you lose yourself, then you're not going to enjoy your time. You're not going to enjoy yourself. The people who are enjoying your company aren't enjoying your company. They're enjoying the persona that you've put out. So once again, it is a degree of be yourself. Finally, a pony who understands that the couture in this shop is far too brilliant to even consider selling. You, like, totally get how lame customers are? Watching them leave filled me with a sweet sadness. I'm afraid you've left me no choice! You are terminated! Well, good luck replacing me! <sighs> well, thankfully I will! I always Drop the persona. she was too Please. controlling. You, you, you are terminated! Oh! <laughs> oh, Fluttershy has gone I full know. pinky. I know, right? I mean, uh, um, uh, actually, you're, like, totally terminated as well. Like, okay. <sighs> well, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I owe every pony an apology. <sighs> you think? Oh, wow, this episode is a real mind bender. Taking my sales pony characters a little too far. At least she's aware of them. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Wow, he's actually stopped breathing. That okay. <laughs> a little bit of over dramatics going on there. I guess acting like the ponies of Saddle Row gave me the confidence to interact with them. Darling, I'd never trust some horrible Saddle Row pony to run my shop. That's why I wanted a friend to do it. And that's why you ask literally everyone else first? Sorry, he didn't say that in his bit, and I felt it needed adding in more than just written commentary at the top. Well, I'd definitely rather be myself anyway, even if I don't exactly have what it takes to be a shop pony. I wouldn't sell yourself short. Those sales pony characters all came from you. Yeah! Yeah, where though? They Did they come from repressed psyche? Uh, repressed psyche? Did they come from a psychotic break? Where did they come from in her? I think we prefer it coming from our sweet, regular Fluttershy. And that's just given me the inspiration I'm looking for! Right. And 
last one? There! The missing piece for my new collection. The warrior of inner strength. <laughs> Wow. See, there we go. That fits in a fashion show. That does not fit on the street for people to wear. Really? Oh, darling. Making the perfect dress is scads more satisfying than showing it off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I find it hard to believe that Goth Pone would, um... Have you? Consider the possibility that the royal fashion show is trying to undercut rarities by continuing on in Canterlot and not moving the whole affair here? Hmm? Have you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Huh, just as I thought. See, now there is the assertive Fluttershy that we oh, all know and love. Inner strength. Yeah, the one who says it like it is, or like it should be, without going too far and actually being cruel. I forgot all the ponies! Hang on, um... Okay, this, um... I'm sorry, that's, that's so embarrassing. This has never happened to me before. I forgot to put the ponies down. I forgot to put the pinky... I'm sorry, the pinky. I forgot the pinky. Oh. Well, that's it. Show's over. I'm doomed. Please forgive me, pupils and ponies. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I'm sure pinky will forgive me. Anyway, right. Well, that's shattered my train of thought. That's that's entirely destroyed my train of thought there, realizing that I hadn't put the uh, the ponies in place. So um, yeah, what was I what was I thinking? First impressions. That I liked that episode. That was an interesting new take on the Fluttershy has already learned her lessons several times over. Where do we take this concept? And I think they really actually approached that quite well because as someone with social anxiety myself, I have found that I have slipped into personas who aren't. Me in situations where I need to be um, not me, basically, where I need to be able to talk to people without having a panic attack. I mean, for example, this, this, the whole thing, this, this isn't necessarily me. This is, this is kind of my stage persona. I have a panic attack before I do all of these videos. Any of these videos, any of these reaction videos that you've watched or anything like that, I guarantee you I have had a panic attack before each one of them. And then once that's done, I will slip into my stage persona and be all chipper and cheerful and reacting. Which is why if you ever meet me in the streets, you'll probably find... Well, actually, no, let's hope that uh, I'm already in my in-the-streets persona, so uh, I, I don't have a panic attack if any of you come over and say hello, though why you would, I've no idea. Heh, <laughs> imposter syndrome. But yes, these personas, it's easy to slip into them from time to time. Once you've set them up, it can be easy to slip into them, and sometimes you can get a little too in-depth. For example, if your persona is the fun-loving, crack-a-joke, I'll-do-anything-for-a-laugh persona, then you'll get home of an evening, or after a night out or whatever, you'll suddenly be yourself again and you will think, oh god, what did I say? What did I do? You'll re you'll think back on things that you've said and done and you'll, you'll realise that to you, now, what you've done is an insanely ridiculous ridiculously stupid thing and you'll start apologizing to everyone you'll send group texts and messages and everything apologizing to everyone and everyone will in fact come back and say no it's fine you were a laugh you didn't do anything stupid or occasionally they'll say what were you thinking i never want to see you again which is where it went in the episode fluttershy slipped so deeply into the sales pony personas that she said and did things that are just so far from her that they ended up driving people and critters away. So to someone like me, in my situation with social anxiety, this actually speaks quite loudly. To me, they've actually approached that quite well. I mean, obviously there are going to be people in the fandom crying out, no, that's not how Fluttershy would act, she would never do something like that. But, well, as I say, she would if she makes these personas up and slips the deeply into them. That's what she said. Okay, in the episode they took it to the point that there was a psychological break and she became these people, which I think, I don't know whether it was intentional, but I think that was quite artistically shown in the whole switching between them with no transition, you know, walking by the, behind the pillar and suddenly she's Fluffy Goth. And 
again, one of them gets fired, walks off, the other one turns up instantly, gets fired, walks off, the other one turns up instantly, gets fired, walks off, and back comes Fluttershy. Actual Fluttershy, who, after it all, seems aware of what she's done. She went full on pinky there. That's what she said! So to me, well, yeah. I actually really like this episode. To me, this was a good Fluttershy episode that maybe didn't show character progression per se, but it certainly did build nicely on the character progression that she's already shown. You know, it showed a new facet to that, and I think, to me personally, that was in quite a well-done way. Well, yeah, if you've got your own opinions on the uh, video, on this, uh, yeah, I'm going to start that again because I messed up quite nicely. <laughs> So yeah, if you've got any opinions on this video or on the episode, feel free to stick them down in the comments if you want to put me right on anything, except for, you know, the way I see social anxiety, because that's it to me and you can't change that, you can't take that away from me! Then feel free to uh, stick that in the comments as well. As for the usual gubbins, I do have a Twitter that you can go and follow, it's where stuff that doesn't... Right, on to the usual gubbins, I do have a Twitter that you can go and follow, 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 there we go, got there in the end, it's at Feral Brony, capital F, capital B, no spaces. It's where I put the stuff that doesn't make it to YouTube, weird frames I spot while editing, and other general pony strangeness that goes on in my head, because there's a lot of it. I can't get rid of it. I can't escape. It's there forever now, but that's okay. I have a Patreon, but I don't like to go on about it, even though I mention it in every video, mostly every video. The uh, link to it is down in the description, as is the link to the coffee in the red bubble. The red bubble, I am trying to get more shirt designs up there, but for some reason, the ones I'm uploading don't don't seem to be working out when they're actually uploaded because it's got a nice strong blur fade and that just doesn't seem to want to come through on the actual site. So I'm trying to get that sorted and figure out what I'm doing wrong. Well, if I've missed anything, I'm sure my editor will stick it in in the comments, his comments up here or in the transitionary thing if he puts one in after. And um, no doubt he will have shown me up a few times in the editing of this episode. So yeah, if you... Uh, also, yeah, comment if you comment and like and subscribe and whatever if you liked his comments that he sticks up the top here or down here after the actual episode occasionally. And until next time, everybody be good. Unless you've got a choice. See you guys.